Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to download some uh, code from GitHub onto your local machine, work on it and then upload it back again on GitHub. So on the GitHub account or whatever you want to pull the code from, you're going to come here, you're going to copy it. So you're going to copy the link to this uh, project and then onto your local machine, so onto your computer you're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it CV3 because it happens to be my coursework number three in uh, Java programming. Um, okay, so the next thing is we need to open command prompt CMD and we see that at the moment um, I am here in C users Z box. I need to change this so that we um, we go inside this folder. So I'm going to change into the desktop, okay? And now, so this being my desktop. And now onto my desktop, I need to find this folder, CV3. So I'm going to do CD, so change directory, CV3, okay? And now, as you can see here, I'm in the CV3 folder. Right, the next thing I need to do is to type in git clone and I have here some of my um, handouts so if you hear any like pages being shuffled around it's my handout so we need to do like this git um, one second so git init now if we look into it we have a um, this folder git if you can't see it it means that it's um the settings of your hidden folders is set to not be uh displayed so you'll have to um you'll have to modify this but anyways i'll show you if you don't have this i'll show you how to do it in a different video but for now once you um once you issue this command git in it this folder is going to be created inside the folder that you want to work in and then we do git clone and I'm going to press, I don't know what the heck I pressed here but I'm going to delete again so git clone and we're going to um, paste this um, link that we got to our project okay so I'm simply going to delete this back stuff there so is gonna clone it inside my so if you look here now I have on my computer I have a whole copy of whatever code was inside my um, github account or whatever I decided to pull this whether it's my account or someone else's account or whatever so all these files now are on my computer in my um, in my folder called CV3 and inside this which corresponds with the same um, uh, name that was on github and now I'm simply gonna import this into Eclipse and I'm gonna start working on it once I start working on it I'm gonna have to upload all this code push it back into github and it's gonna be published there and this way I can keep track safely um, on my um, on the work that I'm doing and um, that is that so now I'm gonna show you how to import this into Eclipse okay I'm gonna close all these 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 are the things that I've been working so far on and um, the bad thing is that I left it kind of to the last moment because I've been uh, away for a while so for Christmas I was in London but for New Year's I was uh, back home to visit my family in, uh, in my uh, home country and now I'm back and I'm a bit late because actually the deadline for this assignment is tomorrow but anyways I don't want to bore you to death with my stuff now the next thing is to we can put this in the um, back in the taskbar now I need to import this code into my clips so if I open Eclipse I go import and then I go here to projects from folder or archive and now if I press the directory button there 
I'm gonna go onto my desktop and here I'm gonna go into CV3 and then I'm gonna select the folder that contains all my Java files. They've been imported and now I can um, start working on them. I can uh, complete the code that I need to complete and it will... Um, um, I can then save it and re-upload it back on GitHub. But I'm going to show you how to re-upload your new code into GitHub in another video. For now, I just wanted to show you how to download your code from GitHub onto your local machine and from your local machine to upload it into Eclipse. We've done it here. Now we just need to work through the, um, the exercises. And um, like I said, I'll show you in a different video how to re-upload whatever you've done back onto GitHub. I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.